The park also has a number of saltwater lakes where small invertebrates proliferate, which attract the water birds. Chilean and Andean flamingos enjoy these saltpeter pools on the high plateau for feeding, filtering the minute shrimps and brine shrimp that live in the water through their beaks. The Coscoroba swan also feeds in these saltwater lakes, one of the most endangered and rare birds in the world. The latest statistics indicate a population of 400 birds throughout Chile, which renders the Coscoroba swan, together with the Chilean deer and the puma, one of the park's rarities. The bird population of Torres del Paine also includes a number of birds of prey. The crested caracara are omnivorous birds which until the middle of the century coexisted with the dark caracara, a species driven to extinction by hunters avid for their flesh. Because of their size, they do not pose a threat to the flamingos or swans, but the carcass of a cauquen or wild goose on one of the shores provides them with a real feast. The park's most interesting plant formation is the Magellanic deciduous forest. The main component of the forest expanses, more abundant on the Pacific slopes of the Andean range, is the Lenga, a tree of the Notophagus genus, also known as the southern or false beech. The Lenga give shelter to and feed birds such as the Caturra, a small parrot, whose habitat extends as far as the Tierra del Fuego, transforming it into the most southern representative of an eminently tropical family of birds. Even more extensive than the forest is the brushwood plain which covers the largest area within Torres del Paine. Paradoxically, although much less lush than the dense expanses of Lenga, these brushwood pampas are richer in animal species. The brushwood is the habitat of Darwin's rare, or petizo as it is known in Chile. When Darwin reached these latitudes during his historical journey, he was surprised to note that these birds moved faster than the horses of the gauchos who were trying to catch them. The rare's powerful legs enable it to reach incredible speeds, but the price of this evolutionary development of such powerful bones and muscles has been the loss of its ability to fly, as is the case with its cousin the emu, the cassowary and the more familiar ostrich. Although under close protection in Torres del Paine, the population of Darwin's rares has diminished considerably due to hunting with bolas, either for sport for their eggs and flesh, or in particular for their grey feathers, which are used to manufacture feather dusters. The masses of brushland underwent serious changes at the hands of the settlers who tried to clear it and transform the area into pasture land. 
But when the national park was created, the brushlands recovered, as did the associated fauna. The six-striped armadillo is a specialist in walking among the brushland. Its armored body enables it to open a path through the densest thickets and acts as a defense against predators. When Spanish explorers saw one of these animals for the first time covered in hardened plates like a kind of armor, they associated it with their own suits of armor and called it an armadillo, although the Indians call it a tatu or a quirquincho. Armadillos are very primitive animals which have mainly survived because of their skin plates, which have enabled them to flee through the densest of brushland. But they also have powerful claws with which they can burrow tunnels in a matter of minutes, enabling them to escape the clutches of any enemy.